Hello everybody! Today I will introduce to you something unusual. It is a magazine kit. So it is not a monthly subscription box for craft supplies. It is not an ordinary crafting magazine. It is something in between. It is by the company called Indigo Blue. I have a quite a few stamps made by them. I really like them so, I, so when I noticed that they are issuing this magazine kit I had to get it. This is a kit number two. I was not able to get the first one because it sold out really quickly. The second one was on pre-order, so it was easier to get it. And I ordered it from the a British company called Craft Stash. And the magazine itself costs um, around uh, 12 euros only. Unfortunately, I had to pay delivery, which was over 10 euros. So all together it cost me 25 euros. Oh, look at all that. It cost me 25 euros, but since I'm ordering from the uh, craft supply company, you can split the cost if you order more things from the same shop, which is not usually possible if you order a subscription box. So let's start with the biggest thing and most amazing thing in this kit. It is an A4, a full A4 stamp set. So ladies and gentlemen, here is your cost of the kit in just one stamp set. So this is a steampunky set with um, quite a few sentiments, some of them very traditional like happy birthday and some more unusual ones with which have to do with courage, with travel, quite a beautiful ones. I really like this uh, little ticket tag. So very, uh, on one hand, they are quite uh, traditional mixed media stamps. But if you do not have many, this is a beautiful stamp set. You get this lady with a um, um, looking glass or binoculars. How do you call this in English? Um, I have seen, I think, three or four different versions of this stamp. Um, but the rest of the stamps, like the uh, hot air balloon, the train, the trail rails, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And then there is a smaller packet. So let's discover what's in the smaller packet. Oh, I almost threw out the most important thing in this packet, which is a cutting die. It's not one. Uh, it's two cutting dies. It's a border and the center. And at the first glance, I was... Uh, Concerned that this is yet another butterfly die, but no, it is a moss, right? It is a moss die and you get two dies for the moss. So that's great. And I really like the stencil. I was very happy to see the post stamp stencil. Uh, yes, there is a butterfly and it's somehow there are butterflies everywhere. Um, but I really like the other two stencils, which are these dots, very regular dots and lines. And we get a, a embossing folder. Again, even if you are a card maker, you will find this kit very interesting. Maybe you can think of a way to use a boss, embo an embossing pop folder, even if you are a mixed media artist. And you get the magazine itself. I will not go through the magazine in all the details for two reasons. First, I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. And second one is, since I'm showing you what I'm making for with these supplies, I don't want to be influenced by the images in the magazine. <laughs> I want to think of something myself. Because when I see the beautiful things in the magazines, usually, usually I just want to repeat them. So, but most interesting thing in this magazine is it includes decorative papers. So you have a four size decorative papers, which have the same theme as the whole kit, of course, which is travel, uh, vintage travel. So you see the same images that we saw in stamps. The color scheme is rather unusual, I find, like see these blues and greens which are quite vibrant and then there are some pages with more muted tones
see the same trains the same train racks or train rails as we saw in the stamps and the vibrant blue and green again and because this is the this is a magazine so the pages of course are bound together so if you take them out carefully you get the double size of the page of the paper and you can even use it as a binding for a book for example I quickly went through the other pages because they repeat the first one so that you get every design twice so this was the introduction to the set and let's go on and try and make something I will be making an art journal page which is inspired by the wonderful set in this magazine I am starting by now tearing a black cardstock which will serve as a base for my art journal page I decided that I want a black border I'm tearing two edges and the other two edges I'm distressing using a, using scissors I do not have a distressing tool scissors work absolutely fine for that and I'm gluing it down using uh, gel medium. I will be putting gel, med gel medium on both sides of the paper. Because the second layer will be one of the decorative papers from the magazine. I'm choosing the paper and I stopped my choice at this one I like the text in the background so I will be using this slightly uh, cream colored paper with the text and I'm doing the same as I did with the black cardstock I'm tearing the right size uh, just a little bit smaller than the black cardstock so that I will have uh, a black border around my page now that the second layer is glued on I wanted to make a border to emphasize the border of the page so I chose one of the text stamps but I will not be using for the text exactly I will be using it as a border stamp I'm covering with a scrap piece of paper the white border of my art journal and I'm going around the page just randomly stamping uh, parts of this text stamp both horizontally vertically until I get around the whole page I'm coming deeper into the page in the corners where you will be able to see more of the text wonderful the next stage I've decided to bring out more some of the colors that we see in the background paper there are some blue and dark pink hints in the background paper so I choose I chose uh, two inks from my stash yes that is the downside of the kit that it doesn't come with any coloring mediums but hello the price and I also wanted to try the stencil and I'm using the dot stencil and um, uh, paste from uh, tonic the golden colored paste and uh, I cut out small pieces of different colored papers from the magazine to suggest the trees or tree tops at the bottom of my page and I'm gluing them down using um, heavy um, gel medium now to the fo focal point of course I had to use a hot balloon stamp uh, the page itself is not very dark so probably I could have gotten away just by stamping directly on the page but I didn't want to risk so I stamped the balloon on a, a tissue paper I went down around the stamped image with 
a brush dipped in water which makes it easier to tear it out and I'm going to glue on it on the page using the same heavy gel medium I played for a moment with the stamped image to decide do I want it slanted do I want it straight so I settled for slightly slanted image next I went around my treetops with a black waterproof pen to suggest branches maybe and now to coloring I'm using an, uh, the ink pencils to color the balloon and to repeat the colors in the background I'm going for the red and the blue so I'm using uh, the pencils directly on the paper and then a brush to move the color around the ink uh, pencils are a good choice I think in this case because the colors are brighter more vibrant and they stand out more from the background and while my ink uh, pencils are still out I decided to use the brown one to um, make a shadow around all the objects around the trees and around the hot air balloon I'm using the pencil to draw a line and then again uh, the brush dipped in water to smooth out the line and suggest a shadow and I was really not happy with the trees and later you will see that I went uh, over the images or the pieces of papers that papers that suggest trees uh, with the same shadowy color just to bring them more into the background and the same principle to go around the balloon with a thin line of the ink pencil and then softening the line with a brush dipped in water the last thing on the image itself is adding white highlights using a white uh, gel pen And when that is done, the only thing left is to add the sentiment. And I used uh, big letter stamps to stamp, I thought, directly on the page. And uh, small letter stamps on a separate piece of paper to finish the sentence. I thought I was a grounded person. So this finishes the look at the indigo blue magazine kit and one of the projects you can make with it. I hope you feel, in feel inspired and I'm leaving you with the still images of the page and if you liked this page please subscribe, press like button, button and leave a comment and I see you soon again. Bye bye!